Our first guest tonight is an Emmy and Tony Award winning actor and one of the stars of Dicks the Musical. The soundtrack is available now and the film opens nationwide this Friday. Please welcome back to the show our very good friend Nathan Lane, everybody. <laughs> Oh, it's nice to be back. Nice to see you. You're back to your snazzy self. You're wearing a pocket square. You look like a million dollars. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. You, you too, as always. <laughs> <laughs> you were here right before the writer's strike, and so uh, we've yeah. been apart for a little over five months. Uh, did I you, know. Did you use I know. the time well? Well, you know, I'm, I'm very happy the writer's strike resolved yes. favorably for the writers, of course, and... And more importantly, that it brought you back to late night where oh, you belong. You. I, um, oh, there was one clap. <laughs> wow. <laughs> because... <laughs> because quite, quite honestly, I didn't know what to do with myself when you weren't oh, doing, that's so nice, yeah. doing the show. No, no, I, I was getting far too much sleep. <laughs> I became downright perky, and no one wants to no. see that. No. I was so perky, I had to rewatch The Crown just to stabilize. <laughs> oh, to bring it back down? Yeah, yeah. without you, uh, the only thing keeping me up at night was uh, flashbacks of the Lauren Boebert video where <laughs> she was vaping and groping her boyfriend during yeah. Beetlejuice the yes, musical. Yes, of course. Perhaps yeah. Republicans should just avoid theater altogether. <laughs> I, I'm sure Lincoln would have agreed with that. <laughs> Nevertheless, oh, too soon. <laughs> Nevertheless, <laughs> I, I, I'm sure I'm not the only late night viewer who built a tiny replica of your desk oh. and put their dog behind it dressed <laughs> like you. It, it wasn't quite the same, but I, I did enjoy his segment called A Closer Woof. Oh. That was a joke just for Frisbee. <laughs> oh, just my dog. for your dog, Frisbee. My dog will watch the night yeah. for the first time. That's, she'll get one of the jokes. That's right. The That's Lauren right. Boeber thing must have been a little harrowing for you, being a you know a longtime Broadway performer. Have you ever seen that sort of uh, uh, that sort of beeswax going on in the theater? Yeah. Well, well, sure. I mean, they're, you know, they're, they're, no, it's a free for all now. <laughs> no, you know, I, I. Uh, but speaking of free for alls, I just went to see the Madonna celebration. You went to London. Tour in London, it was a. astonishing. You know, we're approximately the same age. You and Madonna. And I find her, me and Madonna. Yeah. And what kind of a gay man would I be if I didn't go to the Madonna celebration tour? It's like a celebration of you it's, too, in a way. Yeah, absolutely. And I just find her inspiring on so many levels. And while I was watching, I said to myself, I need to get a pair of fishnet compression socks. <laughs> but I did think, you know, it must be tough to be a rocker at 65 mm -hmm. when the only white powder backstage is gold bond. And, <laughs> Too much voguing can cause carpal tunnel syndrome. <laughs> it's true. But I there mean, she was, there uh, you she know, was. acting like a virgin, touched for the very first time. Oh, my God. good for her. It was very moving. Very moving. Now, uh, yeah. you know, you talk about the fact that you're uh, almost the same age as her, and, and that means you've had a very long career. We obviously know that. Yeah. Have you been approached to, to write a memoir? Uh, yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh, you're to trying right it. now? It's very difficult. Yeah. Yeah, uh, the hardest parts are the remembering <laughs> and the writing. Yeah. And, and, oh, and the remembering. <laughs> you know, I should, I should have written things down along the way. I should have kept a journal, but I didn't. It's like going into a grocery store and realizing I should have written a list for what I came here for. It, it, instead of forgetting bananas, it's I'm forgetting my 20s, 30s, and 40s. <laughs> Cosmopolitans may have played a major factor ah, in see. that, but I don't have many bombshells like like uh, uh, Jada Pinkett Smith revealing yeah. she she and Will Smith have been uh, secretly separated for seven years. Yeah. WTF? <laughs> As the kids would say, WTF? Oh wow, you're doing it in a very believable kids way, and aren't I? You know, uh, and uh, still they, they uh, work together, they raise the children, they attended events as a couple. It seems like maybe it was a secret even from them. <laughs> oh, you don't think they even I knew? St I started to wonder, maybe my husband and I are secretly separated. <laughs> Here all this time, I just thought he was in the other room watching bad reality shows. <laughs> 
I guess I won't figure it out until he, he gets up and slaps someone at the Tony Awards. <laughs> Real quick. Yeah. Real quick, and then we're, uh, we're going to go to commercial. But, yeah. you know, speaking of the Tonys, uh, yeah. you and I are working on a, on a musical. Oh, geez. Cicada, Cicada. Oh, well, that's the elephant in the room. It is that's the elephant the in the room. The question on everybody's minds is Cicada, Cicada. Yeah. The musical. Now, I'm not, I'm not privy to everything, but I've heard that the script and the score are still in development. Yes. Um, and it's not ready for a table read. No. But uh, I'm pleased to announce we have picked out a table. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And uh, the good news is the title is testing through the roof with both etymologists and entomologists. Oh, that's good. <laughs> because <laughs> Broadway has not taken advantage of the insect wordplay market <laughs> since Spider-Man Turn Off the Dark. That's so true. We're on to something. We're on it. That, we, but that... we got to act fast because I don't want some copycat to poach us. No. And suddenly there's two cicada-themed <laughs> musicals. <laughs> Dying for Broadway. All right. Well, we're gonna get. We're gonna try to get an actual song from Cicada Cicada. Yes. On this show. The Act One finale. The Act One finale within the next six months. Christine Baranski, Harvey Firestein, and the Mets. Yes. We're gonna get <laughs> most of the Mets. Most of the Mets. Yeah. I. You know, the Mets are very excited about I, this. I bet. It's when you have when you don't have postseason baseball to look forward to. You look forward to the stage. Uh, I have so much more to ask you about Dick's the Musical, which is a real thing. We'll be right back with more Nathan Lane.